with what I do, you know, those players and a lot of my family too. And, uh, you know, it's just, just devastation. Dillon High School football coach Jackie Hayes feels as if he's lost a son. Wednesday morning, a Dillon Wildcats position, 17-year-old James Jake David Jr. was driving a pickup on Highway 57 South near the Fort community. I'm told he was on his way home after dropping off his girlfriend from work. Troopers tell me Jake ran off the road, overcorrected, and lost control. His dad and mom are real close friends of mine, and um, I was the first one there this morning and, uh, you know, I just, I can't imagine what they're going through, their only child, and now he's gone and, you know, they're just heartbroken. A 19-year-old passenger riding with Jake was taken to the hospital. He's expected to be okay. When we lose one, we lose a family member. Larry German tells me he coached Jake as a child in recreational football and baseball. He's having a hard time coping with his death. I met with Jake yesterday afternoon. Uh, I talked to him in practice yesterday, and, and Jake had a good attitude yesterday. And, and I asked him, I said, Jake, how you feel? He said, I feel good. Coach Hayes says Jake was a good kid playing all of his four years in high school. Hayes is trying to prepare his team for semifinals of the state football playoffs Friday, but says it isn't easy. You know, we're a close-knit group, um, and, you know, we're a very close-knit community. Uh, we'll, we'll rally around each other and, you know, love and hug each other and support each other, and, and you, know, you know, we'll go out and, you know, do the best we can, and we'll see how it falls. In Dillon, Tanya Brown, News Channel 15.